my little bros in here, y'all doing y'all thing out there, you know, proud of y'all. So welcome to episode nine, and you guys, uh, you know, it's a blessing to have you guys here. What's up, bro? So um, let's get back to y'all childhood. So what, so like, what was y'all doing when y'all was young? You know, what inspired y'all to do, you know, pursue this music and everything y'all doing now? It's always been a dream. I always looked forward to music. Like that's something that I wanted to, I wanted to do since I was young. So I just rather just keep that, try to move that, keep that pushing. So yeah, that's it. So you saying like you ready? Who was you inspired by? Like when you was younger? Uh, Fifty Cent, Tupac. Master P, I was inspired by them. Who was you inspired by? I was inspired by Jay-Z. So why was y'all, y'all was inspired by Jay-Z, man? Why, why Jay-Z? Jay-Z the greatest of all time. <laughs> what you mean, why not look at it? It's Jay-Z, though. Sean Carter, the brand, Jay-Z. He's just not a rapper. It's a lot to do with Jay-Z. I love Jay Z. Jay Z get money. I love when he get money. So what was your childhood like? Uh, you know we had our ups and downs. You know everybody had their ups and downs. You know it was cool. It was fun. It was but, different though. But we miss we missed a, a lot of our childhood. Like we you know we've been incarcerated for four years. You know we just now been out for like a little fresh year. So where y'all start from? Where y'all where y'all grow up at? I mean, I kind of know, but you know, I just want y'all to you know say y'all mm -hmm. Like, where y'all from, man? From Youngstown, small city. Where people only love you when you when you dead or in jail or you got money. That's fake love. Y'all grew up on the east side, though. Yeah, yeah. east side. From from we was we moved. We grew up on the east side when we was. We moved when I was like five, or five, was it five or four? It was five, one of them. Went from the um, east side, from Sunshine to, it was like, to the south side. Then we went to the south side, we was five. Like, so it was different though, yeah. south side different though. It's like, we went to the south side, it's just. That's yeah, what we was raised on both sides though. Yeah. All right, all right. So y'all moved from south side, or east side to Southside Youngstown, what was that like? I really ain't know the difference though. I mean, I ain't, I ain't, you know, when you five, like, I don't remember the east side like that. Cause you know, I was, I was only five. Nah, so I, I, he I remember, remember because he I was older. I remember the east than side, me. like, I was mad at one point in time. Cause like, at first I ain't know nobody on the south side. Until I met, uh, until I met, uh, my nigga, uh, Quentin. Then everything started, you know, got right back to normal, you know, when you go to school, you meet people on your side of town, like that. And for me, it was like, cause, you know, we was, when I was, when I was coming up, cause he older than me, so about the time when I was coming up, it was like, it was like, I was, I'm on the south side, so I just went to school, knew everybody, you know, started getting to know everybody, you know, south side. So did y'all play sports? I know y'all play basketball, football, but what was y'all favorite sports growing up? Basketball. Basketball. Kobe. Little Kobe. All right, who y'all favorite players? Kobe and who else? LeBron James. LeBron James. Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. So y'all go from east side to the south side. So what was like, what was like a, a typical childhood day? Um, um, like once y'all got like, to what age? Age 11, 12, 13. When we, like, every day, getting out the bed, what we about to do every day? Um, I'm going to keep it real, man. I got to keep it. I got to keep it all the way down. I can't lie. Man, getting up at age 12, when a young son, so at this point, we was living there, we about to get up. We about to, we about to run around the south side. Um, I'm about to look for, I'm about to look for something to do. Like, either it's going to be good or bad. Like, Stealing, um, man, we used to do all, all that. 
to all that. I don't know. It just it just it depends on whatever whatever you type of mood you in. Like you in the mood to steal something, you in the mood to um play basketball, you in the mood to play football, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what it's whatever you in the mood for. I can't really tell you what it, every day is like growing up because it's different for everybody. I just know what we was doing growing up. Coming up up in the morning about to get ready for a day. I'm either about to do something. That's at 12, but I was, my time was cut short, though, for my childhood, so I really can't, you know, that, like, 12 is hard to remember back from going right. to 12. Just at, what, 14 and a half, I was already, you know, it was already, like, that was my childhood. So what was you doing? Similar was, stuff? Yeah, similar. You know, similar stuff. A lot of stuff I can't, you know, say, explain it over here, but. All right. Whole lot. So it was music your your way of like trying to get out? Yeah. Like that's your way of getting out of the situation? Yeah. That's my way to get out the hood. Who wanna stay in the hood? Especially in Youngstown. Ain't nothing but hatred. Nothing going on. Down here. People, People hate. hate for no reason. They hate on their first blood cousin. Bro, they don't matter down there. That's like, why I'm blessed to have the cousins I have. Mm-hmm. That family. I love my cousins though. They get on my nerves though. I love them though. All my cousins. So. From the, um, my mom's side of family, my mom's side of family, my cousins, I mean, it's like, are we in the age bracket, but it's like a lot of us, it's a lot of them older than us, then it's like, then you got a few younger cousins, guys, younger. but it, it's a couple that's like around our age, though. Then on my dad's side, it's like, everybody, all my cousins on my dad's side were the same age. So it was like, we grew up like brothers, because you know, it, that's how it was. Like, they we be over their house, they be over our house. So, all the cousins on my dad's side, I love them all. Even though they, y'all get on my nerves though. I'm keep one hundred. Y'all get on my nerves, but I love y'all though. I love y'all to death, but y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> every, every download, every download you can think, they get on my nerves. Man. So, what was uh, your dad and your mom situation like? I know y'all. I went through some stuff with that. Oh. That you can share. Like, what was like, how was it like growing up with, you know what I'm saying? Both of them at one time at one point. Well, it, it was cool. It was cool. I just really don't see, I mean, I don't know. It's just like my dad, I don't know. My dad and my mom, I don't know. It's like they were together. But we were so young again, though. We was young when they split up. So, how old I was young. I was like, Nah, or probably a little bit, nah, probably a little bit older. Nah, no, I don't know I wasn't like no 12 or nothing though, but right. I was probably like eight or nine or something. He was, he older obviously, but it was, I don't know. It was just, it was, it was, it was, it was the same. It's just, it's just, you seen your dad sleeping in the same household with you. But it was still different. I, my dad still was in our, my life, so it wasn't no different. I can't, you know, some people, my dad, he left, that the, Demolished me. I was hurt because I had no parent. My dad, though, you know, some, I need a man in the house to be where I want to be in life right. and all that. I ain't got that situation. So, like, my dad ain't like he he left and he went missing. Nah, like my dad, you still be calling. You know where he at. You know you go see my dad. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, so I, me, it's nothing different from him living with us and then not living with us. It just. It just, he just, just lived with us and he wouldn't live with us. So life move on. You can't always hold that against, you know, against your parents. Like, then you right. wouldn't in my they life. They ain't gonna be together forever. Yeah, they ain't gonna be here forever. Then for my mom, it's just, just a single mother. You know, my mom, she, she 100, so. You know, my mom, she, she's strong, though. She just strong, though. She just went through a lot as a parent, though. There's a lot of stuff I just can't really speak on, but. She just, my mom is going through a lot, but she's strong though, strong black woman. That's why I like, I don't know. Just for her, you know, five kids though. You know, deaf brother. So, like my mom, you know. Mm, but my mom maintained through it all though, so. Right. She still, you wouldn't know that she was going through it. Like, if you wouldn't know her, if it was somebody new that don't know my mom, they part of they, she part she, of the nicest is, lady, though. Mm, she a strong lady, though. Yeah, my mom part is nice. Like, you know, people that don't know her, like, she nice to us, you know, it's different, though, because she, you know, she got to be hard on us, though. 
It ain't like we ain't got the normal parents. You know mm-hmm. how the parents growing up, this, this, this generation, I mean, this generation, how parents coming up. You know, you know, people coming up, they got young parents, parents that get a lot of, let them get away with a lot of like cussing and all that, you know what I'm saying? But my dad too though, but I'm saying my mom, you know what I'm saying? She, nah, you know, I'm all straight from the right. brook. Brooks, you know, she's straight, you know what I'm saying? She ain't going for all that, though. So, she was just hard on us, though. But, hey, we coming, like, she's being hard on us, getting prepared for when she, she leave the earth. She ain't gonna be here forever, the baby is, because we can call her mom for anything. She gonna ride for us through any situation. Like, any situation, we can tell my mom that we done did the most bad stuff. She gonna ride through us through the whole situation, but she gonna give us lip about it. She she also go ride through us though. I know that for a fact. I know anything that ever happened or something. I know my mom go give me lit, but I know that she go she about to make something happen. My mom go make it happen for sure. Through any circumstance, for any any for all five of her kids, she go make it happen. Even her even her nieces and nephew. But my mom raised raised um like she raised my cousin Ebony. I always thought that was my sister, cause she was there before us. Right. She raised, um, like, you know what I'm saying, like her her goddaughter. She always lived with us. Um, who else was living with us? Like my mom, my mom, like our house, that mother like open arms. She, my mom, like anybody come live in there. Right. You know what I'm saying my sister, um, my sister Jessica didn't have friends, and her friends, you know, they was close, but Jessica the oldest, so you know. Or her friends, so her friends was coming over every day. Then, like, her friends became like our sisters, and my mom was taking care of them. So, I don't know, it's a lot of people that call my mom mom. So, she got a lot of kids, if you ask me. You about to say something? No, I don't want to say nothing. You just already said it. Mm. So, can y'all talk about when, like, y'all got uh, in that situation? I got locked up. It just, it just, it, it was, that was, that was dumb. Like, we just was young, hot-headed. Just, you know what I'm saying? You know, hard head make it so fast. Like, we just, you know what I'm saying? It was going down the wrong road. Yeah, that was crazy. That was, man. I was so young, though. I was younger than him. How old were you? I was, I had just turned 15. And he had 17, 17, 17. So, so y'all get locked up, go to JJC. I know you was very, you know, you had some history down there before he was there. No, that was my first time ever going to DY. Oh, no, 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 Eight times, times. Before, before that time. Yeah. So. So all together, I've been locked up for like ten, eleven times. You know. So when you got, when y'all both got locked up, how was that transition different than when y'all was like outside of that system? You know what I mean? Like, what was it like being in that type of situation and then not being in that situation? Like now being like out of it. It's uh, like you know your body. You know what I'm saying? You locked up, but your mind ain't your mind free, so all we did, all I did in there, play basketball, you know what I'm saying? Write my journal, do my, make my music, stuff like that. I just kept myself out of it. So you started making music while you was in there? Yeah. But I always been one to rap, because I used to rap over the phone, you know? So that just something that I just like it to do. So how'd y'all get through that? Like that time behind bars, like at that age, when y'all see all y'all friends out there playing basketball, on prom, on homecoming, all that, like how'd y'all get through it? Like how'd y'all get through like those times? I mean, think about that. We just, think about just getting over this time that we, you know what I'm saying, trying to hurry up and get out. We want Trying to think about the house. Think about the house, it's gonna stress you. So y'all seen some stuff in here that people got stressed out about? Yeah, people get stressed out about females. They think, you know what I'm saying? They, 
that ain't writing them or they ain't answering their phone or something. You know what I'm saying? People stress out about everything in there. You know what I'm saying? Money ain't on their books or their family ain't coming to see them. So how did you like help him go in there? He was younger than you. So I know he, he mature. He, but. he mature. He adapted on his own. He 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 learned it by himself. So he was real to him. Just man. Oh, I got symptoms. I don't know. It was like I don't know. It's when you in there with your brother, you know, like. I don't know, it was like, cause it was like, I'm, I'm down there too. And yeah, then you in there with your cousin too. So I'm in there my first cousin too. So, so it wasn't that bad. Nah, and to it was sometimes we was all on the same unit. So, we just, that's it. We just about do our time, just get the fuck out. Don't even try to come back. So, y'all go through there four years, three and a half, four years, and y'all come out of that. What was y'all like thinking like y'all was gonna do? Like, what was y'all next move coming out of the system? Like, I was saying like, when I come up, I'm gonna take this music serious. But, you know what I'm saying? When you come on, when you fresh being out, you know, you get side attracted on a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff that goes on around you, you feel me? Your environment? Yeah, my environment. That's why I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to uh, shake back. There's going to be a mindset back for when they come back. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I come back this time. And G -Rod, it was like, when I was coming home, like, my mindset was like, I'm just trying to get some money. I love money. I'm just trying to get some money. Anything I want to do. Not get out of trouble because I miss a lot. I'm just trying to stay out of trouble, get some money. Have fun. Like, I just want to have fun, for real. I just want to stay out of trouble. Like, it's different for me. Like, you know, a lot of people, like, when I came home, that I was like, they, they was cool, but I ain't never seen them. Like, it, it's, what was different for me was, when I came home, I seen a lot of people being something they wasn't. It was like, a lot of y'all dudes had good, nah, for real, this is serious though, no laughing. Like, a lot of y'all dudes had potential, like, good potential. Like, I, I, I love watching, watching y'all play football, basketball, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all right. cats had potential. Like, y'all had potential to go to college and all that, but people don't know, like, when you in a situation like me that really was in a situation that, that missed out on a lot of stuff, like, Man, I regret doing that, man. I ain't want to go to no DYS. Like, I ain't want to go there. That was my potential in life, like to go to no DYS. I want. I did not want to go there. You guys like really inspired with the music. Uh, this music, we we grew up around it. You know what I'm saying? Our, our pop listened to music. Our mom listened to music. We just we've been just been influenced by it. our whole life. Huh? Like we, everybody listened to music in my family, so. That's inspired me. Yeah, he came up and yeah, he came and said he wanna rap him and my cousin, um, BJ and uh, um my dude, my dude Reese. They all Yeah, free Reese by the way. And they all talk about rapping. They just I ain't a rapper. But I just they talk about rapping, so that's what they wanna do. Hopefully they just be successful, you know, all we can do is just be behind it for everybody that, you know, that loves them or whatever. Just need to be, to be bottom. Support. They rap, they rap, we just go support them. I can't do So, when you guys say y'all want to do music, what was like that first, like y'all get in the studio, what was like that process? You told me like the first song? Yeah. It's definitely the studio. It was a good vibe. It was a good studio. It was just, that just the beginning. Was y'all excited though? It was excited. It was packed. 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 That's just studio session. It's just the beginning. But yeah. not everybody invited. Um, 
Now it's gonna be now it's gonna be the time when everybody know like yeah I can rap. Now I'm about to show everybody like I can rap. When this mixtape come out. When the mixtape coming out. I get done with this little stuff that I'm going through right now. I think I can push the music out for sure, videos and everything. So DJ Tommy. Mm-hmm. Tommy. So what is Dito's role, Brandon's role in your in your music? Get them to book the shows. Everything. Get them all the CEOs. I just want to make sure, like, you know, if that's what I'm going to do, my, me, my cousin Byron, just want to talk about Byron rap, too, but Byron also be doing, like, you know, Byron will make sure, like, everything good, like, on the manager side and all this, and, like, like, Byron go help do that, too, it's just more for me, it's like, you know, where the show should be at, and all that, you know, that's the more I want to do, like, where we, where we go. Where, where I know where it's about to go at, like, where we about to go that night, like, where should we, y'all perform at, you know, like, as far as, like, the music, the other side of music, I think my cousin Byron will take care of that, but, but Byron will rap too, though, Byron is, you know, he'll be there to do that, and do all that stuff. So, what's your rap name? Young Steph. What made you pick that? Stephon, so I just choose Young Steph. I had a lot of names. I had Young Chip, uh, Trevor B. Uh, I had a lot of names. Spook, I had a whole lot of names. But I finally named my Brittany, so Young Steph. That's what you are. Yeah, What's your style more like? For the viewers, they don't know like how you rap. Like, what's your I'm a like I talk drill, I talk I talk drill, drill, drill shit. And what did I say? Like I talk about the struggle, stuff like, like everything that I've been like I've been going through. I talk about my life, bro. Everything that I'm going through right now. What inspired you to do music? Like what's like your motivation to Basically, it's just like, like how do you, when I be seeing all these other rappers, like how do you just be blowing up? Like, I just feel like it's you know, about to be my turn, about to be my shot, and I'm about to take it serious. I'm about to be, like, I'm trying to be, my goal is to be be the first rapper in the city. Out of Youngstown, Ohio, be the first one to blow. From talking, because I talk all facts. I don't mind my raps. I don't do none of that. I ain't like these other rappers. So I believe I got a story to tell for the other these other rappers like talk about stuff they did but they really didn't do. Like talk about guns they shot, they really didn't shoot. Guns they never shot before, never seen, they I just wanna talk facts. Like, not I even though I want us to be you know, like the city, but I do like you know, me. I ain't, you know I, we ain't, I ain't, we ain't hating either. We yeah. make sure nobody hates. So the rappers that is out there, you know, what I'm saying like doing their thing. So I do want because I always tell them always. I always tell them we ain't everybody hating on nobody. That's not us. We ain't gotta talk down on nobody. You can listen to other young sound rappers. I young sound got some. I think we got a lot of talent in young sound. I ain't I mean, no fake. Only me. only rapper like I is to like I keep keep it being like I like I like cash music. I like fail music. I like uh, I fuck with the young boys. I fuck with Chris 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 Chris. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of cigarette rappers. I like Young Sound Youngin. Young Sound Youngin. He nice. Like, and I don't really be knowing. I don't really I don't know that some of them. See, that's, that's but they, they hard though. I listen to them though. I ain't no hate. I'm gonna listen to them. Cause like they are. Like you listen to, you'll let people ride around and listen to Young Boy 
why you can't ride around this two people in your city? Yeah, in your city. Like that's you one thing. Y'all, like um, me, if if I if that's like if you could go download, like when you see young sound rappers that post they stuff on social media, go download it. Like go download it. Like you know what I'm saying? That's, and my that's cousin, just young like, babe, he the same way. Go download yeah, it. Yeah, that's just like it's just so much hatred. They don't want to see nobody right. raising. Right. They don't want to see nobody in the industry. They don't want to see nobody. With money in their pocket, they don't want to see nobody coming through. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? With chain limbo, it's just our yeah, city. It's just hatred. Like everybody hate. hate on each other. Like I don't know, man. It's everybody knows you on know, everybody business. Right. Like everybody just I don't know, man. It's just, it just like our city. It, it's fucked up. Like our city fucked up. It definitely is though. Like they, a lot of these people in Young Thug are like rapping and shit. Shit blew up. Like, like they sure. should be big. Like um. Chris, I feel like he cold. He, 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 he cold. He, he good with making music. His whole little crew he got. Not just even him. The dude, um, who else I like on, on that rap that he got in his little circle? 680 Baby. 680 Baby. I like that one. Well, I don't know how his name, but he nice too. Yeah, they um, from here? Yeah, yeah, they all from here. I mean, his whole, that little, whole little real life music. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tuned in today. Life to say, you know what they really rap about, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm just saying they, they make good music that you can ride around and listen to. Like a lot of a lot of people in Young Sound do. Lil Red, Lil Red Velly, you know, they make good music. Like Lil Dave, they make good music. Like I don't know, I just feel like Young Sound got a wave. Like they can blow up. I just people go hey. It just ain't gonna want to see people hate, man. They don't want to for it. Especially like, especially if somebody they've been around every day and people gonna hate you, low key. They gonna hate you, low key. They gonna envy you. Cash and all them bitches. They, they had, they man, they, they got videos that went dumb. Like they should have really been mm-hmm. blew up. Definitely, if you got your, you know what I'm saying? Cause some people in your city, they go talk good about them, like acting like they cool, cool with their music in front of their face. They run around, man, your stuff trash, crazy, pretty stuff trash, cash stuff trash. That's what they gonna say behind their back. But you in their face, you want to be all in their video. Like you will see all these dudes in their videos, but they probably be the main ones behind their back talking crazy. Like, man, he ain't really talk about that. I mean, he ain't really living that. He just rapping about it. Like I, I be with this guy all the time. Like that's hating. Like dude just got talent. Like they just got natural talent. Like support. I just feel like Youngstown. How you see a lot of Youngstown listen to Detroit because everybody off the Detroit waves. Mm-hmm. Like. Y'all should, we should be hot like Detroit. You, you got a wave like this. You can't, like, you I can't, feel like the, the, you can't go on nobody else's wave like something that they did and try to copy something they do. Cause Cause you're not going to blow we, off we can, that. we can have our own wave. Like, like we got, we got a lot of good rappers right now. Yeah. Like me, me looking at the rappers, like Young Sound right now, I think we got a lot of good rappers. Like on some, I don't hate on nobody. It's not one person I don't hate. If you send me your stuff, I'm going to listen to it. That's just me. Like. If I if I don't like it, I'm not about to go say, oh man, he trying you know, all this. Right. Like I just ain't gonna say nothing. Like I don't, I don't really jig you, but I just feel like we do got some good rappers though. Oh, we got some good rappers in the city. Like I know it's a lot of rappers that I'm probably missing out though. But it's just the, these are rappers that I see post all the time. That I always see post. Mm-hmm. So that's only why I'm mentioning these rappers' names. Not not saying that the other rappers we got in the city ain't hot. These are the only rappers that like I always see on Facebook that's promoting their music. I just I just feel like they they good, and but that's not just the rapper side though. Far as like um, on the other side, we got talent. You know what I'm saying? Comedian side, Justin. Like, what Justin? We got Quisha. Mm-hmm. Justin got... do everything. He's silly. <laughs> Justin silly. My cousin Quisha, she's silly. Corn, you know. Um, but Justin Justin got his whole little group. The the the, the no chest or whatever. Baby they, no chest. Baby no chest. They they whole little group. Like they all silly. Corn yeah, all them Shout silly. out to that boy Justin, man. He doing his thing, baby. Corn, no corn silly too. Corn. Mm-hmm. Um, the other dude that be in the video with him, Bill and all them, like they just they silly. Like I just yeah, like silly, they though. silly. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be telling the place, man, they silly, man. They yeah. they go blow up though. They go sure. blow up. They go Justin and them all, they definitely go blow up. I gotta that's why I got because I ain't no hey, keep I wanna, and keep I wanna see I wanna see them blow up. I wanna see the baby no chest. I want to see the rappers, the the Cassies, the Chris's, the um Lil Red, the Bellies, the the Dave's, the CFN, Johnny Boy. I want I want to see them blow up, but I don't. I want to see them blow, up. like because I just I just maybe because if they blow, we go probably get way more better role models in the city. You know, when somebody see that from Youngstown, that make it out, they go want to beat them. So that's what that's what the party need. Like, I want I want to see them blow. Up. 
I don't, you know, some people probably don't want to see them blow because they go get a they crowd. Hating. They hating. They hating. They Cause when that money come in, I and that's when all of them. It gonna be fake friends. You post someone in the book, I'm, I'm gonna like it, laugh at it, whatever. Like I'm a, I, I want to see them blow. I can't wait till somebody really at the city that blow. Like you know, see them blow crazy or something like what they doing. Like, I just can't wait because that was just what we had to be. Like, as far as like, like but we got it's, but I feel like we going the right direction. Like as far as like the sports side, you got LJ. He just entered the draft, so that's a step. That's a step. Little man, he out there in Kentucky, he doing his thing, so the steps is you know going for these young sound people. So I just feel like the music about to go to. The music, Justin and them be doing their thing for the comedian side, that's about to go. So I don't know. I just do y'all like do y'all ever collab with them or y'all trying to collab? I ain't never. Yeah, I ain't, well, most, most definitely, yeah, I collab. I collab with some of these young sound rappers for sure. I, I collab with some of them. Yeah, that'd be that'd be dope though. I think a lot of young sound rappers need to collab back. Not just him, or you know, people he got rapping with. Just period in general. That's what go make y'all let not one let if one eat all y'all go eat. Or it's like you know, that's why I feel like. Young sound, they go, they can get their own ways on it. You ask me, but I don't, I won't know how they, what they feel. I don't know what they see. You know? Is everybody got their own, their own mindset of how they want to do stuff? You know, they might feel like they got to a point because nobody can help them, so they probably might not want to help nobody else or something. But I, I don't care. I just want to see everybody win, shine. Do so, you know, all, like, y'all see a lot of negativity through the city. What's some? Um, Positive things you see going on right now. I know a lot of people don't, you know, respect other people. You know what I mean? I do. I see. Um, I forgot this one dude. He on Facebook, man. He just, he was just on the news. He had like, I, I think his name Trey. I forgot. He did some real positive. Though. I was watching. He had a little article clip on WKBN. He, I think he got kicked out. Um, whatever his name is, it's Trey something. He on Facebook. He um, I think he be he be giving um back to like poor people, food. I just be watching this dude because he do positive stuff. Like, and I think he got kicked out the foster home when he was like um, eighteen or something. I think they was telling him he got he got the you know his foster time was up or something. Mm-hmm. I seen a little clip on him about the news, but he that dude that dude go be something because he always doing something positive. He doing positive stuff like he was from the streets, but he doing something positive like. I watched the whole little clip he had. That's because I'm seeing so much negativity. So, like, I seen him do something positive. Like, I, I was tuned in. Like, I was happy to see that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like he old. He young doing it. So, it ain't no telling where he going to be in years. All that good he giving back and what he been through. That dude go, man, he go, man, he go, he go have a nice, he go have a nice future. But I don't, I don't even know, dude. That's just me just watching. WKBN. WKBN, I was, so y'all look up WKBN all the time? Nah, I only see it off the Facebook. You know, people share a lot of Facebook articles. Off, off like, good, it mostly bad. Like, you see a lot of Facebook articles. What's like a bad article y'all see? Murder. <laughs> like, murder. Murder. Crime. Yeah, like, murder. <laughs> okay. That's the thing, it ain't getting, it ain't getting no worse it than that. no worse. Okay, so y'all see that. <laughs> people share on Facebook. Like, they share it. All the time. All the time. All the time. Like, they don't share no positive or nothing. Once somebody do, did something, but then they, they throwing it out there. Everybody like, like that. Yeah, they throwing it out there. And they be starting, and they be making rumors. They Make don't rumors. know what's going on. Like, they just speaking on. That's why me, I don't, I just like saying funny stuff. I don't really, I don't, I don't be into, you ain't about to catch me on Facebook arguing nobody. Like, that. I just be. Yeah, There's a lot of actors on Facebook, a lot of fake gangsters, fake gangbangers. They, that stuff's sick on me. It's sick. It's a drug. Facebook is drug. Straight drug. So, you know, when y'all see all that negativity, y'all still trying to do, you know, some different things, though. Y'all trying to, like, support Justin or support all these other people around here. What's something you would, like, say to the city of Young South? What do we need to change? Um, the hatred. The hatred. 
Like it's a whole lot. That's of the stuff only thing. I think you know what I'm there's a lot of hate. Mm-hmm. So you say if everybody just if everybody it. just stop hating and get together, man. We but you can't make together. everybody. That's impossible. You're not about to make everybody stop hating. You go make you know because yeah. a lot of people don't like each other for reasons that far from that happened way back in the day before right. my time. So you and can't stop. You. Yeah, but I know I know Youngstown was like if he do that or she do that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, it's a lot of copycat. Mm-hmm. So if you, if you, if that's like if somebody see you wearing something, man, oh, where you get that from? I'm about to go buy that. Or you know what I'm saying? Where you, or where you get that from, brother? I'm about to get them. Like it's a trend. So I know if you see somebody that on this status doing something like, if you see somebody on this status collaborating with somebody down here and they ain't hating or something, they like, well, let me help this dude. I ain't about to hate. That's what's go uplift the city. But. I don't, then again, it's young sound, so I don't, I don't know. Young sound, young sound, definitely at this point, young sound rough right now. It's been rough since 2018. It's been rough right now, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this season, man, this last season we came out, it was tough. Right now. See, all facets. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on, so a lot of people, a lot of people doing stuff right now, so I don't know, I'm just, Trying to get through all the trouble. Y'all have like friends y'all still talk to that y'all was locked up with, or you know, yeah, y'all was in the system. Y'all still talk to them. Yeah, Yeah. I do. um, Trey, 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 Jay, Jay, Free Jay. By the way, you know, we all in DYS. Yeah, but I knew. I knew I knew Jay way before D Y. Jay, I grew up with Jay. That's my dude. We grew up with each other. So I knew Jay. I just I knew of his brother. You know how when you got a brother, like you was seeing, but I never, you know what I'm saying? It's just like it was so crazy. Me and him brothers, we got synced up. Jay and Trey brothers, they got synced up, and we all was in the building at the same time with each other in jail. So, so that's like who's in there first? Y'all Trey, Trey, was Trey. Nah, Trey, it was Trey, Trey was in there. Trey. Trey was in there. Trey and Jay was in there first. Then we came after Trey and Jay. Did they get out before y'all or after? Um, it was like Trey got out. Before Trey got everybody. out. Then I got out. And then he got out. And then Jay got out. Oh, uh, so it was like one person and y'all did. Yeah. Like so a, you know, hang with the, hang with them. We don't really hang as tough as we should, cause you know everybody. Trey might got his own stuff. Jay might got they, his own stuff going on. And I got my own stuff. But that that one of the dudes we was cool with from jail, I'm talking about that we came out with cool. Like, um Jamal, Jamal we was cool with Jamal, my dude. Yeah. I'm trying, you far just saying like D Y S or just anything. Yeah. Oh, from like yeah, well yeah, you say D Y that's why you're saying. So how many how many years y'all do that D Y S? Else I'm cool with that's from the that's from the city. Oh, I'm tripping. My dude Quan, I'm tripping. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Quan. I'm Quan. tripping. I don't know him like that by yeah, name. I'm tripping. My dude Quan, I'm tripping. Like I'm already, I don't know what's wrong with me. Quan, my dude, like city, bro. That's my nigga. I don't know what I'm tripping on. Why well, has you been? Why has you been? Shout out to Quan. I don't know what I was just thinking though. But yeah, Quan. What y'all learn from DYS? Love you, you don't. That's me. <laughs> that's simple. Mm-hmm. That's me. Love or hate. Right. Love you, you don't. That's definitely. Man, that's that's rough though. Why? It, it, it was only rough for me because like I ain't never been on high school. Before. I went in right at high school too. I didn't even do a whole month. I did month. No, I probably did. Just did one month of school. I just went to grade eight. I was gone. I came out. I was gone. You know, I graduated in DYS. But so that's good though. But I just went in that one time. So you have them, like I said, Stephon being there, and you being there, and you have some other people from Young Sound there. What'd you feel, Stephon? Like. Having people from Young Sound there with you was it? Did it help or? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Some, some Young Sound, cause like I was cool with some of them. I didn't mess with, cause some of them was 
was Pop Tarts. They were sweet. Like they, they was followers. Like they did. They was all on it, but like some of them, I, don't I know. ain't, I ain't, I ain't. But I ain't just. I keep them going. ain't. You know what I'm saying? We talk about friends. Them, them dudes. We went to jail, but I still got friends that was out here. That were, you know what I'm saying? Like my friends before me. Me, I'ma still be, be cool with the dudes I was with before I went to jail. Like I do. Um, Say my the people that I feel like that was my friends that I just feel like that I used to like I know like I used to hang with when I was young, as far as like just running around like running around with like um, I do Mill, Brian, I do Ray Ray, like I you know what I'm saying them like friends that you could say that like really was a friend that I really grew up with, and they don't, and them people I just named don't would be onto nothing that nothing that I was into. It's just like them, my friends, right. like them real friends. Like I said, like if Ray Ray, Mel, Brian, or Kasim, or um, I got another friend. His name was Stephon too. Now my brother, another right. Stephon. Any of them dudes that call me, some now to this day, like I do whatever. But I don't see them every day. A lot of, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm out. They doing it. They grown. They doing their thing. It's just like if they call me, I'm coming but about anything. Them my, them my friends though, and they don't be into all the, the other stuff that I was doing. That was just me just going with my brother. You know what I'm saying? So what? Saying what he was doing. So what type of, what type of goals do y'all have for like this next life that y'all? Like then, what you got? Give me like a time frame. Like, what do you see? Like, what do I what see? What do you see yourself? Next phase of life, like we just went through this phase. I see, I see myself in the music industry. I see myself doing movies. You know what I'm saying? Cold, cold line. I see, I see myself on a, on a whole different path, path of success. That's how you said. I, I see, see myself path of success. I see myself just on um, this next phase traveling. Keywords travel. Because when I came home in 2017, my boy, my brother, Buggy, had me travel like everywhere. So I can say that like he took me everywhere when I came home. I came a lot. Like, if it wasn't for my brother Buggy, that would probably one of the see Avenue and stuff I see. So he taught me how to travel. That's how, like, my brother Buggy got all his connections. So that's what I want to do. That's my goal, my main goal. Because my brother, you see, and I came home, my PO had to prove, like, and she was mad. Cause, like, I kept on coming back to her, like, yeah. I'm trying to go out of town. <laughs> <laughs> and as I was, like, I'm trying to go out of town. I, was, I went to Houston, Virginia Beach. Yeah. I went to um, um, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. I went to um, it's so many places we because we was stopping in when we was going. It was stop, it's so many I can't even remember. I know it was like ten states, man. <laughs> at least like, I went to ten like ten states with him. We went to Arkansas, Louisiana, yeah, and, uh, we went to all those states. Like yeah, we were like so I went out yeah so I I went through a bunch of states and I was and we was like we was there so like, I travel a lot and I and I know how the money is too. It's expensive. So you gotta have your money up to travel like how you want to travel. But I seen a lot of life though. In one year, that was me coming home from jail. The judge was mad. He had to prove me. P.O. and the judge had to prove me every week. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks to this man right here. He had to go to court with me. I was getting approved every week to go out of town. It's like, you go out of town again? Yeah, yeah back to back the weeks though. Back to back the weeks. Different states, back to back the weeks. But it's gonna be good that, you know, step one, Situation go you know go, go better yeah. and you be able to travel. That's gonna be the beauty of life, you know, seeing like different, different, different things. And it's just the little stuff. That's why I say like, when I come back from after this little this little vacation, that's what I'm gonna call it. This little vacation, I'm on a whole path of success, like what I said. I'm gonna strive for greatness. So that time while he gone, he gonna be gone for it. Situation right. he about to go through. He about to, uh, you know, it's already I'm already gonna get money, bro. So, I'm gonna get more. Mm -hmm. 
don't know. That's what I'm trying to do. Man, my goal is, so I got, you know what I'm saying? I got, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing some of my goals too. Like, I hope I find somebody, a loyal woman, somebody loyal. And that's on the game. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Polish. You know what I'm saying? Stuff. Is that why you changed each other better man? That's why you're saying that. Yeah. <laughs> especially, I need, you know, <laughs> especially, especially, I need, I need a woman, especially like, you know what I'm saying? See, see, the whole all the stuff I'm going through type shit, you feel me? I need somebody to hold me down. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> nah, that's, but he, you know, he different though. I ain't laughing because, like you said, that might, that might, like females, like, he type dude, you, you know, girl probably go settle me down, calm me down, you know what I'm saying? That's what type, me, nah, I get, I'm talking about far as, like, what you, like, far as, like, a female, like, what you saying? Nah, I need me a female that's in, like, that work and be in the house. Oh, yeah, see, see, he's trying to relax. He's trying to get his female about to settle him down so they can be. Nah, I'm not settled down. I'm still doing my music and stuff like that, but I'm talking about I'm looking for a loyal chick. You feel me? That's just gonna ride with you. That's gonna ride it up. To see, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even ready for that relationship. Like, nah. nah I ain't saying, I ain't saying, I ain't saying, like, but let me take that back. I wanna, I'm ready, nah, let me take that back. I'm ready for a relationship. I'm ready for a relationship. I just thought about. Me. I don't know why you said that. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm ready for a <laughs> uh, All right. All right. I'm about to be in this relationship. Put it like this, though. I'm getting ready for this relationship, though. But far as like what I, because <laughs> look, though, I was do what I was look. You know I me. Mean? I just can't. You know it'd be hard though. Like, right. I was just telling my cousin um, Byron, um, my cousin Byron, baby mom. We just had, I just had a long talk with her. Like, I, like me and her was just talking because we would just talk about this same situation about a female. Right. And I don't ever, t- and I don't ever tell people why, I'd like, relationships is different to me. But I just told my cousin Byron, baby mom, that, though, because she real cool. Like, you could talk to her. Like, she, you know, like, me and her were just having a good conversation because we was talking about females. She had, I forgot what happened. I forgot what happened, how we got on the conversation with maybe. Open up. I just told her why though. Like, like I was telling her, like, when when you know that you like, like me, when you once you know like you young, like me, I know I'm young. I did four years in jail. I just really came home recently, 2000, 2017. So like, that's a lot of time. I can't, I can't commit to you fully, like, and just say like, I know I'm about to be all coming to the house whenever you want me to, or I'm about to, um, I'm about to take the time out. You know, man, I ain't got time yeah, for that. I'm trying to have fun. I ain't, like, I ain't that type of dude. Like, like that, I'm just saying, like, I can't, nah, I ain't, I'm I just come saying, home when I want to come home. I'm yes, ready. See, I ain't, I ain't trying to go through the headache. If you about to, if you about to have to call my phone and all this, blow my phone up, talk about, get to the house and all that, man, I'm young, man. I'm on, I'm not even 21 yet, man. I'm not even 21 yet. I'm not, no man, babies not, or nothing. We no no babies. I'm about to go out here. I'm about to have fun, man. I'm about to I'm about to come home when I want to come home. I'm about to go out when I want to go out. But when if I'm committed, I'm committed. Uh-huh. Then, then that's a different story. Then, then you got the rights to brag me about why you ain't at home, what time you know, we get on the, you know, get on that type of stuff. But other than that, like to me, to show full commitment, you gotta show it to me first. Like you gotta, yeah. Like, then that's you know, another thing. Like, like that sound different. Man. Yeah. You don't know what these girls. You don't know what these, these girls will tell you. Something else when you in there, when you, you know what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all need y'all, to go get checked, y'all man. Doing y'all messing with all the same girls out here. Like, like, go get checked, man. Go get checked. They speed. Your boy ain't behind you. I'm I don't call her running you. no more. They speed. If you messing with that girl, I'm not coming behind you. Once my boy to touch you, I'm not. They don't even call me. They don't even text me. I will put my phone. I will say it was dead or something. But I'm gonna make it the most excuse. Once my boy touch you, I'm not touching you. I don't know if y'all got them herpes. I don't know if y'all got chlamydia. I don't know, man. Go get checked, man. I ain't, I ain't doing all that. My boy touch you, I ain't touch you, cause you gonna let me know. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't right. So I'm cool. Like a lot of y'all be doing stuff. Like, I know, I know lying. that I know that paperwork ain't lying, man. The paperwork don't lie. A lot lie. of girls be lying too much. A lot of man. girls lie. Talk about y'all straight, man. Y'all ain't straight. Y'all okay, let's keep it 100. Y'all's not straight, man. So, so get checked. 
You and that dude go get checked. Go get checked. You also real nasty little mom. Remarks though. Cause you know what I mean? We closing in on the interview. You know what I'm saying? You got some positive to say? Um, I say for you. For your fans and all that supporters. I just, I just want people to hear what I got to say in my music. So y'all tune in what I'm about to drop. Music. When I drop this music, I'm going to link, you know what I'm saying, a little stuff on Facebook. So y'all go ahead and tune in. And you know? that's just be basically, y'all. Um, um, hear my story. Take it, you know what I'm saying? Get take, right. a, take a ride with me. But I don't know. The last closing mark, we about to. God, just hope, hope. God, just hope we about to get through this stuff. Yeah. About get through this through little, situa- this little situation, situation. I'm going through. My boy, my brother, let's get through this situation. I don't speak on it. I ain't going to speak on it. I'm going to leave it how it is. Mm-hmm. Let y'all keep thinking what they're going to they be. I just hope. Pray to God. That's it, though. Implemented. You need to dominate. Motivate.